Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, um, I'm in the Great Smoky Mountains. This is the first full day I've been in the Great Smoky Mountains. We may be interrupted at any point because I'm at the spring, so at the water source. So, but um, I just wanted to do this video now. So, a couple of things have happened. One, since you saw me at Fontana Dam, I pushed on because, um, think, as I might have mentioned, was going for the Great Smoky Mountains. You have to write down where you're going to be. So. I had written down where I was going to be and signed it, so I wanted to keep that. So I pushed on, found out that the four and a half miles into in the first four and a half miles to the nearest campsite in the Great Smoky Mountains are all uphill and really difficult. So that was a lot, a barrel of laughs. Um, but apart from getting there late and then having to set up um, uh, my hammock in the dark, and yeah, it wasn't fun. Anyway, I'm going to tell you some good news, then some bad news, then some good news again. Uh, so, some good news. I seem to be completely immune to poison ivy. I know this because, one, um, I was very much warned about it, and then I was very cautious of it, then I stopped being cautious of it, and then today I found myself walking through a whole bustle of it, um, only realising afterwards what it was, and I touched loads of it, and I am completely unharmed. I'm completely unscathed, you know, I don't even notice any of it. So I seem to be one of those people who are immune. Um, and I met somebody else who said he was completely immune to it. He doesn't. He said he doesn't want to lie in it, but as far as I can see, I'm completely immune to poison ivy. So, good thing. Um, now, for the bad news. Um, it started raining a bit, so I moved all my stuff into um, under my hammock, under my tarp, my waterproof stuff. Um, and it wasn't until later that I realised that, it, because I was cooking at the time, that the cap of my fuel wasn't screwed down properly. So I am now six days away from civilization, because I have to go forward, I was going for the Great Smoky Mountains, and I have no fuel. And I would hesitate to tell you this, except for that by the time you see this, it will have all been over, because obviously I'll be in civilization to do it. So that's the bad news, that... The only way I'm going to be able to cook, seemingly, is either by somebody else's hospitality or um, an open campfire that I either start myself or somebody else has started and I knit and I use. And the other unfortunate thing is that before I found out my fuel had gone, my I discovered that the, that the lighter I've been using, the flint's gone. So I now have to rely on the waterproof matches I've got, of which I have got seven left. And I have eight days to get in. Oh, six days, sorry, to get into town with. But now for some good news. Um, there's a guy who I was talking to, and he said that if we are camping at the same place, and I'm thinking of making it a point to be camping at the same place he is, he's getting a lift into town the next day, so he'll give me all his fuel. So I may just find out where he's going to be, and then just make sure I am where he is, so I nick all his fuel. But that is the thing about being out here. As soon as I went up and said, I'm out of fuel, can anybody help me? And I was feeling rather embarrassed, especially considering all the guys camping around here are all older guys, none of them my age, none of them around my age, and they're all kind of veterans. And I had a feeling that they were all kind of like, what the fuck? And this guy just came over and went to the, went to the fire that he had just barely started, and he just went, stick it on here. And so I cooked my food on an open fire, which is why it now looks like this. don't know if you can see that, but it's basically been burnt out a bit, you know. But, which is kind of annoying because I did like it looking new and I do like things to look nice. Um, but, and I was thinking about this with my boots, because I've been fixing my boots up and it's like, they serve a function, that's all they're there for, so... It's not a big deal. But, yeah, that's kind of it. And that's um, the good news and the bad news, frankly. But nobody said... Um, but one thing that came back to me was something that I learned at Prince's Trust with Donna. No, not Donna. I'm not talking about Donna. the person who gave me shuttle. Um, no, with... Um, I think her name is Shelley. Yeah, Shelley Brown. I've been trying to find that name for ages. And it just came back. So, Shelley... Um, 
said during one of our tasks that was set up to fail or set up to be more difficult than you thought um, when things start going wrong on purpose. But she says, well, things do go wrong. What are you going to do? And that's just one of these things. And it's one of the things, unfortunately, that I hadn't managed to fit in a redundancy for, which is what I've done for most things. Uh, most things I've got redundancy built in um, for my for my trip. Um, I've got a lot of backups and so on, hence why I've got waterproof matches, so that redundancy kicks in. But I haven't got... Um, I wanted to get some tabs that would work if I ran out of fuel, but unfortunately never got around to it. So I don't know if that's another thing that I should look into, considering that this has happened, but... Anyway, I'm not that depressed or feeling down or anything. It's just a bit of a kick in the teeth, especially when... It's only the first day in the Great Smoky Mountains, first full day in the Great Smoky Mountains. And I'm starting to regret pushing on at Fontana Dam when I could have stayed with um, with Salamander um, patches and downhill. But there you go, lesson learned really. Um, well, kind of. You know, it's got good points and bad points of pushing on, but either way... I'm okay, and I'll see you guys later, but hopefully things will look up, and things will be okay, and hopefully that guy will give me his fuel, and then everything will be back to normal, and back to back, and back, and raring to go. Anyway, um, that's that, and my beard is looking wonderful, as you can see. <laughs> right, uh, see you guys later, bye. Oh, uh, today, I think, is day... 22? Let's say 22. Well, you, I think I said it, said, well, you know, whatever I said in Fontana Dam, add one. <laughs> so there, bye.